<laughs> look at the state of that. Oh god, look, this is what it looks like in the car. I swear to god I've been adjusting them for ages. Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Now in today's video on Danny AYP I'm going to be doing a, um, a Jazz, Honda Jazz wash jet install. So the Honda Jazz washer, jet, washer jets, um, we've got them here in a packet. Um, they spray in a mist and they are the same fixture if you like for the bonnet on the EG, EK, um, EJ, EM, one, all those other chassis are the same fixture. And these parts are actually from eBay, they aren't a Wish car part. But they will be going on the Civic EK budget build today and I just I just again another little step just to try and modernize the car that's basically the, the aim of the game and it's it should also make visibility a lot better during like autumn and winter and stuff like that when it starts getting a bit colder and a lot of mess starts going on the windscreen I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to clear it a lot quicker use the um, washer fluid as well a lot more effectively um, rather than just holding it for ages so that I get like a good coverage or that, so that all my wipers are, are wet um, it should also prolong the life of my wipers as well. So yeah, that's that's the idea I literally got these for like three quid off eBay and um, they do sell them on wish But I think that the price was negligible You know there wasn't hardly anything in it and the delivery times were like a week on eBay in comparison to like You know a month that you can wait on wish So I decided to avoid wish car parts on this occasion and used eBay and um, for this particular car part but yeah, this is, that's what's going on in the Civic Budget build today. Some Honda Jazz washer jets. They are just so much better though, they're so much better. So I'll show you the current washer jets now, and then I'm gonna crack on, get working on it, take these washer jets off, very quick, very easy install, get the Honda Jazz ones put on, um, and then I'll show you the, uh, the spray, if you like the spray pattern of the jets thereafter. Catch you in a bit. I'm just gonna press the uh, the washer jets now, just on this little stalk here, um, and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the spray pattern now. So as you can see, it comes out in like, in lines, just a, just a sharp jet. So yeah, it, it works, you know, but it can be a lot more efficient, I'm sure. This is how the washer jets came, by the way, in the packaging. Just a little, uh, little packet. Ooh. So, there you go. Simple as that, just a pair of washer jets. As I say, these were three pound off eBay. Really, really cheap, really good modification. They probably will fit other cars as well, um, but I do know that they fit the EG and the EK. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how they come packaged, if you were curious. So there you can see the backside of the jets, one there and one just there. So I'm just going to be popping them off, pop them little hoses off if you like, and see if I can get the hoses to stretch to, uh, to these ones I've got in my hand. can see there it's got this tube that runs to it that's the tube that I'm going to pull off if I can pull it off there we go perfect so I'll just tuck that up there for now sorry about the wind noise by the way but as you can see this has got a clip both on the front and on the back side and um, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get this front clip in first because that's the most difficult and the back clip squashes quite easily in comparison to the side pull it out Pop the, uh, the new one in, obviously from the bonnet side down. Same clip, see the side, front and back as you can see. Plug it in, job's a good one. So that's that done. There were also some tiny little gaskets, I don't know if you can see, just underneath. Um, you can see that it's like bare plastic just underneath where it would seat on the, uh, on the bonnet. Um, that bare plastic obviously has a rubber seal on it or like a rubber um, grommet if you like just so it's not plastic to the bare metal so it's got a nice rubber seal as well so that water can't get through the, uh, the small holes that these sit in so remember to swap that over as well when you're doing this but these are the original ones the jazz ones are on now so uh, let's test them out so we're testing them now on the interior of the car I'm just going to give it the first squeeze now Ooh, not looking very good. <laughs> it looks like they're squirting against the dash. 
um, so that the angle's too too much, squirting too low. So I'll just go and adjust that really quick. I have literally been f about with these for ages. Oh my god, you should see the stay there. Check these out. Now I know why they were so bloody cheap. Oh my god. You ready? And that one don't even want to spray anyway, it's just spraying on the bonnet and I swear to god I've been trying to adjust these for ages. Look at the state of that. Look at the pull on the bonnet. Just one spot. One spot. Oh what a mess. What a joke. Oh. <laughs> Look at the state of that. Oh god, look, this is what it looks like in the car. I swear to god I've been adjusting them for ages. Oh, fuck it's just going in car. Oh my god. I mean it it missed a little bit. Maybe. Oh god, that is so annoying. So that was basically a waste of time. I'm gonna swap them back, I think. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. What I'll do is I'll probably end up going to a scrapyard. See if I can uh, just get some Honda Giles washer jets from one at the scrapyard because I just can't. I can't be dealing with that. I don't know if I should just leave them in and then that'll make me go to a scrapyard more and make me want to find some proper ones more um, because it's just going to continue to annoy the life out of me until I sort it out. <laughs> I'm probably going to do that. I'm just going to leave it for now. I'm going to turn the car off. I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'm going to see if I can find some proper Honda Jazz ones at a. Um, the scrapyard so there you go the uh, the eBay Honda Jazz washer jets that aren't original Honda parts are crap <laughs> don't buy them now I'm doing this as you see it obviously all my videos have, have gone pretty smoothly so far apart from this particular install um, and I'm just I'm just showing you how it is you know sometimes things go the way you want them to sometimes they just don't um, on the EG when I was working with that it was such an old car you know over over a hundred thousand miles on the clock and I was doing a hitch swap conversion on it and the amount of things that went wrong on that car it just it just copious amounts of things went wrong on that car just because of how old it was and, and what it was um, and what I was doing to it as well you know um, now that chassis is in a position where every nut and bolt's being touched so it all comes off and goes back together so easily and so quickly you know there's no seized bolts everything's been copper slipped everything's been touched the problem is, is the chassis is a rusted uh, rotten mess so but yeah is it, this 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 happens you know stuff like this happens when you're modifying cars as, as you know if you've modified your own car or if you're watching this now and thinking you know that's such an easy install it should have just gone so so easily so smoothly and it's just sometimes it just doesn't you know sometimes the part itself when you fit it's actually broke or wrong or doesn't work the way it was intended to work i'm, I'm not going to bother trying to argue and get three pound back for the sake of them washer jets but they are absolutely they are so crap, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that's it for the budget build Honda Civic on this one. Um, and I will be doing more videos, obviously, in the very near future. So if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.